Bungie is giving us brand new exotic armor for the final shape. And unlike any other years, they're also giving us exotic class items. Now, that will be a bit different from what we know right now of what to get the exotic class items, but they won't be arriving until week two of the final shape. And basically, they're going to just break the entire game because they'll let you be able to split two exotic perks into one class item and some of those exotic perks could be from other classes but regardless of that each of the classes in the final shape will getting two new exotic armor pieces and a lot of people were able to go to a play test that Bungie hosted two weeks ago in Seattle and a lot of people got to play the final shape got to go and play in the pale heart got to play a lot of the new exotic weapons and the exotic armor even Datto made a video talking about the exotic armor and holy crap that Titan exotic chest piece giving a 35% damage buff to rocket launchers. Holy crap, I cannot wait to get that. And a lot of Guardians are probably wondering, well, I want to get these new exotic armor pieces, but I don't want to do the Neomuna Vex event for those exotic armor pieces once they come out on day one of the final shape. And people don't really want to grind Lost Sectors as much because it gets a bit repetitive if you don't know what, if you know what I mean. And with the whole power that we're going to have to go through, us being around 19,000 and then we are going to have to go all the way to 1960 or 1950 around that for Lost Sectors. It's just going to be a big grind for so many Guardians to get and play those Lost Sectors to even get a chance of getting these new exotic armor pieces. But in today's video we're going to just quickly go over a huge sort of tip that many Guardians might have missed from a couple twids ago and that was to Look at the Cryptarch day one of the final shape. Play the first mission of the final shape, it's probably going to be amazing. But after that, go to the tower, go to where the Cryptarch will be, and you will see a massive rework change happen with him as he is getting his own ranking system for exotic armor. He's getting a bigger focusing system, and he's just going to have probably, he's going to be the candy man and the candy sewer basically. What I'm trying to imply is, is that once Final Shape rolls around, the Cryptarch will be one of the new sources of getting new exotic armor. And one of the best re things to do right now is to save Angrams. Yes, you can be able to save 10 Angrams in your inventory, but also you can save it across all three classes, and you can save them in your Postmaster. And using and decoding those Angrams will help repu help level up the Cryptarch, getting you more exotic chances to get the new exotics because yes the new exotics that you want to get in the final shape that you probably have seen from recent videos that Bungie has posted or your favorite youtubers they are going to be accessible through the cryptarch if you can level them up in his ranks and actually decode it in the exotic focusing now one of the other biggest ways to level the cryptarch like i just said was doing the exotic focusing which in theory is a really good thing to do however exotic focusing is quite expensive when you actually do it you have to get all these ascendant shards ascendant prisms exotic ciphers a lot of materials is going to have to be saved up in order to exotic you know sort of focus exotics to get more reputation for the cryptarch you could do that in theory if you wanted to but it's going to take a lot to stock up to get that and you're going to have to stock up on some resources i know there's a lot of resources that drop in the legendary campaign if you're interested in doing that but again just decoding angrams will be one of the best things to do going into the final shape so even opening a prime angram can help you. It doesn't need to be an exotic angram, it can be a prime angram and that will also help get you more reputation. They say the focusing and the entire Cryptarch ranking isn't too crazy and you can easily, I think, not have a huge problem with it. I hope it's not something what, like the Bungie 30th anniversary where I was stuck on Zero on rank 13 for like 50 days and I just did not progress at all. I don't think it's going to be like that, but you can get a sort of sense of where I'm getting at with this. But saving engrams, decoding them anywhere, I believe even in decoding engrams, not even with it being a legendary or prime engram, just getting it from a, you know, 
destination vendor or just getting it from you know crucible or something you'll be able to decode those engrams and those will still be able to progress your rank and in theory after progressing your rank and after decoding you will be able to get the brand new exotic that you so choose again the legendary campaign will let you choose between one or the two exotic engrams after completing mission eight however i want to point out here though is that i believe only seven missions will be available on day one and that mission eight won't be available till raid is completed for the first time so you won't be able to technically finish the final shape campaign if Bungie does it that way so you are on your own when it comes to getting exotics and this is one of the best ways to get the new exotics and I tell you getting these new exotics is probably something you should look at because one one of the exotics basically buffs Titan's freaking uh, strand melee and banner of war and just gives them an extra charge and then makes them go insane Literally, there's an exotic that Bife is dying over right now that basically gives Warlocks a speaker mask and basically these healing turrets. That's amazing. You should get that. There's even an exotic that gives Arc Hunters these Arc Explosions, basically, when an Arc Aspect is cast. That is something you should get. The Titan's exotic chest piece, bro, gives rockets. Yeah, when you pop your class ability and gives damage bonus to rockets. A 35% damage, if correct me if I'm wrong, from one of the videos that someone was telling me about, to rockets. Yeah, it's going to be pretty insane. So I recommend all of you, go save your engrams right now. Go get ready to get some exotic armor pieces because the it's coming. It's happening. So you better go and do so because I will be disappointed. You'll be disappointed when I destroy you in the Crucible with my brand new rocket chest piece. But other than that, I'll see you guys in the next video. Love you guys.